In the meantime, the health minister says based on current projections, Jamaica could reach its peak of the coronavirus outbreak eight weeks from the start of community spread. The health minister has indicated that the country is already seeing signs of the community spread. He was responding to questions from the opposition in the House of Representatives late last night. Vashon Brown reports. Several countries around the world have now pointed out that they've reached the peak of their COVID-19 outbreak and are starting to see a decline in new cases. Locally, questions rage given the daily increase in cases. The question of the when do we get to the apex or the peak of this coronavirus in terms of time? What is your model showing? Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says officials in his ministry have done a model looking at the country's COVID-19 numbers over a 12-month period. The prediction is that the apex would, be, would occur eight weeks after community spread begins. Now, we're, we're, we're seeing signs of community spread now, just about. This is not the, 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 the BPO now. This is based on the centennial sites and the numbers that we see popping up that have no direct links to contact tracing. Prime Minister Andrew Holness presented this map to Parliament showing the predicted COVID-19 trend. Based on the predictions, if Jamaica were to have a 10-day doubling of cases, then by May 5, the country would record 394 confirmed cases of COVID-19. If Jamaica were to have a 9-day doubling of cases, then by May 5, there would be 593 confirmed cases of COVID-19. And if the country were to see an 8-day doubling of cases, then again by May 5, there would be about 987 cases. We were tracking very nicely, Mr. Speaker the 10-day doubling, so we were between the 12-day and the 10-day doubling up to the 13th of April. Since then, we are now in between the 8-day and 9-day doubling curve with the one workplace case accounting for that shift. So in other words, based on the predictions and given the country's COVID-19 figures, Jamaica could see between 593 and 987 confirmed cases of COVID-19 by May 5. But all hope is not lost. The Prime Minister says it is possible to get back on the 10 or 12 day doubling curves once the outbreak at the Portmore based call centre Alorica is contained. In the meantime, the Health Minister says the Ministry is expanding its testing capacity. The National Public Health Lab commissioned a new piece of equipment which will see an increase in the number of samples tested daily. That machine will do 380 tests per eight hour shift and they can run for three shifts in a 24 hour day. In fact, it's, it's highly automated. You just put the samples in, you press a button, which I did to start it off, and it does the test. So we're moving now from the 180 or just over 200 capacity that was possible for a two shift cycle at the university at the National Influenza um, Facility to now a facility supporting that that could do a over a thousand tests per day. Vashon Brown, TVJ News.